Okay, boys and girls, moms and dads, it's the last day of school. Woohoo! And it's the first first chapel of the year in here and the last chapel at the same time. So that's kind of cool. It's a lot of fun. Thank you, parents, for being here. Yeah. I need to figure out who's here. Are my, are my pre-K kids here? Pre-K, are you here? Yeah. Kinder, are you here? Yeah. First grade, are you here? Yeah. They're here, yeah. Second grade, are you here? Yeah. Third grade, are you here? Yeah. Fourth grade? Yeah. Fifth grade? Sixth grade? Yeah. Seventh grade? <laughs> That's much of what I expected. And for the last time and first time ever, eighth grade, are you here? Yeah. There you go. See, that's, the, that's the how it's, it's, you become too cool, and then you become right level of cool. That's perfect. Love it. Love it, love it. Well, friends, we're so glad that you are here with us today. We get to sing together. Today is going to be the last uh, last chapel, obviously, with Z. Z, we're going to see some things that you guys worked on. I know some parents had asked me uh, a while back, or recently, uh, there were some pictures that you all submitted for the eighth grade students. That chapel was actually last week. And so if you want to go on to the, the website, Concordia's website, we have all the chapels, all the episodes, all the songs are there. You can watch them all summer long if you like. But today, we're going to stand, and we are going to sing. You guys ready? Stand on up. Let's sing our first song. This last day of school, everyone together, get me all emotional. And maybe that's just me. That's okay. Well, friends, as we begin every single day, we begin every chapel, we begin today in the name of our God. So I'm going to teach you some sign language. We've probably done this once before. But we're going to go in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We're going to kind of cross ourselves like this. So not sign language, but just kind of emotion like this. Father. Son, Holy Spirit, just like this, make a sign of a cross. Because when we go, we know that God goes with us. That's the theme of the entire year. And so some people, you might see some people do this. It's kind of a, a personal thing. But if you want to, to remember that you are covered by the blood of Jesus and known by him. So we begin today in the name of our God, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, one of the things that you know, one of the things that I know, is that, uh, well, actually, I'm curious. Is, are any of you perfect? No. Right? Nobody here is perfect. I'm not perfect. Z's not perfect. No, nobody, none of your teachers, none of your parents, nobody is perfect. You're not perfect. 
But Jace, you just, that was awesome. But Jesus is perfect. From the mouths of a pre-K student, it's exactly the truth. Is that while we're not perfect, we confess our imperfection to God. So don't you say, God, I'm sorry, really loud. God, I'm sorry. And then in your own heart, in your own mind, you know exactly maybe the things that you said that weren't su- too, super kind. Maybe you know the things that you did that weren't super nice. And so you don't have to shout that out. But in your own heart, we give that to God. We say, God, I'm sorry. And what does Jesus do? What does God do every single time we say, I'm sorry? What does he say? That's right. So I want you to turn the person next to you and say, God forgives you. And that is good news this morning. Good news this morning. All right, we got our scripture verse for the whole year. I want you guys to read this out loud and proud with me. You guys ready for this? This is from Deuteronomy 31, verse 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. All right, let's see. Be strong and courageous. Let's see those muscles. See them. Oh, very good. All right, let's stand up and sing our next song, friends. Y'all ready? Through every storm of life, I know you're by my side, so I am holding on to your promises. You are the God who holds my future, all my dreams, so I am holding on. You never let go of me. Huh. Huh. Great job. You gave me hope when hope was all but gone. A second chance to strong when I was weak. You rescued me, rescued me. Through every storm of life, I know you're by my side, so I am holding on to your promises. You are the God who holds my future, all my dreams, so I am holding on. You never let go of me. You are my God, I'm holding on to you. God, I'm holding on to you. You are my God, I know you'll see me through. Hey, you are my God, I'm holding on to you. You are my God, I know you'll see me through. Hey, you are my God, I'm holding on to you. You are my God, I know you'll see me through. Hey, through every storm of life, I know you're by my side. So I am holding on. Friends, all right, so as I said, we have our last episode, last time we get to see Z. He's, uh, I think I saw him a little bit earlier. Uh, Hey Z, where are you? Where's Z? Where did Z go? Oh, there's Z. All right. Hey guys, Z here. So, you know when you go through a whole school year and you do all kinds of crazy fun things, you know what happens is you make a lot of friends. That's what happened to me this year. Let me tell you about it. 
Whatever happened to his predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friends, but waiting just around the bed. You've got a friend in Z When the years rub ahead We were miles and miles from the end of COVID You just remember what your old pal said Boy, you've got a friend in Z Yeah, you've got a friend in Z You've got a friend in Z You've got a friend in Z you got troubles I've got them too There isn't anything I wouldn't do for you We stick together when we see it through Cause you've got a friend in Z Yeah, you've got a friend in Z some other folks might be a little bit smarter than I am, bigger and stronger too, maybe. But none of them will ever love you the way God do. It's me and you, boy. And as the years go by, our friendship will never die. You're gonna see it's our destiny. You got a friend in Debbie. You got a friend in Toby. Yeah, you got a friend in Z. That's real nice. Well, journal, <laughs> I guess if I learned anything this year, it's that 
when God is with me, I'm strong. But I also learned that we were all in this together. Can we give everyone a round of applause that was a part of that? The various teachers and pastors that were good sports as the cheerleaders tried to teach us how to do the dance. That was awesome. And, and that message of we're all in this together truly is something that I've felt this year. I mean, I'm getting choked up. <laughs> Oof. And I hope that you have too. I, I didn't think I was going to cry at chapel. <laughs> What's happening? 
Oh. Well, uh, it's been a great year, guys. It's been a, it's been a fun year. And, and that truth that we've kind of clung to, that we've all in this together and that God is with us. Turn to the person next to you and say, God is with you. And that's a truth that you cling to. That's also a truth that we want our eighth graders to cling to as we send them off to go to where they're going. Later on tonight, maybe some of you guys are coming. Uh, they're going to graduate from Concordia, from this same place right up here. So we want to we want to pray for them. We want to commission them. We want to challenge them. We want to show support to them. So eighth graders, can you guys come on up here? We want to we want to love on you guys and bring them up this way. You guys can spread out across the top here so we can see you. Some of you kindergartners might see your chapel buddies. Or you'll see people that you've watched grow up over the last however long. We can do, we can do maybe two rows. You guys can come down on the steps too so we can see all y'all. No hiding, no hiding. We want to we wanna see you guys. All right. So like we do, you, like when we do anything, when we send a group of students off on a trip or a uh, sporting activity, this is kind of a bigger sending. We're sending you guys to high school. Why am I crying? <laughs> this is happy. This is happy. We're sending y'all to high school. And you guys have grown so much. You have led this school so very well for so many years. And this year, especially in this difficult, crazy year, you have done so very well. So we're proud of you. We're thankful for you. And we want to send you with a prayer and a blessing. And so if you could, I want you to put the hand on the person next to you. And if we could, if we could lift our hands and kind of like we're laying our hands on them. We're going to pray for them. Lord God, Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for this eighth grade class. Lord, I thank you for their gifts. I thank you for their talents. I thank you for the ways in which they've poured themselves out here at Concordia, the ways in which they've led, the ways in which they've learned, the ways in which you have led them. Lord, I pray for tonight. I thank you for the celebration of graduating. But Lord, I pray that as they go to the various schools that they are going to, that they would know that, Lord, you go with them. And the love of this place, your love goes with them as well. Lord, you love them, we love them, and we send them in love and commission them to be lights unto their schools and to their homes and to the various things that you've called them to do. Lord, we thank you for them and we give you glory, honor, and praise. In Christ's name we pray, amen. Thank you, eighth grade class. It's here for your eighth graders. All right, you guys can go have a seat. All right, and then something else that we do, a part of today, this is kind of, as this is the last day of school, um, the next time you come onto campus, you will be a different grade, right? And uh, the, now the leaders, the people that were eighth graders right here, next year, this group will be the current seventh graders. So seventh graders, we are going to commission you to be the leaders of the school. So you guys come on forward, please. All right, kind of spread out across, guys. We bunched up over here so we can spread out across over this way, more or less. That sounds good. All right, so these, the next time you see these lovely faces, they will be your leaders, your eighth graders. Hey, seventh graders, current seventh graders for the next so-and-so so -so minutes, can you look at all these eyes that are on you? It's a lot of eyes. It's a lot of eyes, and that's a lot of responsibility, that these students watch you and say, hey, this is what it means to follow Jesus here at Concordia. This is what it means to be a Concordia Cardinal. This is what it means to be a leader. And so that this responsibility, I want you to feel the responsibility of these students placed on you. I don't want you to be overwhelmed by it, but I want you to feel it. And then I want you to know, okay, as you come back next year, that you, that you are going to be those leaders, and your words and your actions. 
and that God is going to be with you as you do it. So let's pray for our seventh grade class as they become our leaders next year. Lord God, Heavenly Father, I pray for this awesome group of seventh grade students, these young men and women. Oh, let's do, yeah, put your hands up, put your hands on each other. There you go, just like so. And Lord God, I thank you for the ways in which you've led them and grown them and challenged them and shaped them this year. And Lord God, I pray that as you have prepared them to be the leaders of this school, that you would use them, that we would follow them as they follow you, not by their strength, but by your strength. Lord, use their, pa- their, their passions, use their abilities to glorify you and to lead our awesome school. We give you glory, honor, and praise. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. All right, seventh grade, stay up here for just a second. Because you are, what you're going to do, this, I don't know if you've done this, we've done this a couple times, but you're going to introduce the theme for next year uh, to, our, uh, to, to the rest of the school, okay? So the, well, here, come, here, come in, come in. All right, so they're going to tell us the theme. It's going to be up on the screen. This is not, the, hey, that rhymed, theme screen. They're going to tell us the theme. And, I, and, and seventh grade, I know you weren't super pumped about being called out, but now I need you guys to shout out the theme for today, call and response. You ready? We don't, it, today will be kind of a first trial run. Next, next year, I know we'll get it down. But the theme for next year, ready? Here we go. Say it out. Hey, that was pretty good. All right, seventh grade. Thank you. You guys can go have a seat. So that'll be next year's theme. Part of the eighth graders will be leading us in that, uh, in that way. So we prayed for our eighth graders. We prayed for our seventh graders. Now I want to pray. We just lots of prayer today. I want to pray for you guys. Because pre-K, next time you all are here, you're going to be in kinder. First grade, next time, or kinder, next time you're here, you'll be in first grade. And first grade, you'll be in second, and second, third, and third, and fourth. And so each one of you is going into a new grade. And I know it's, could be, it can be kind of sad. Because maybe you're going to miss your teachers. But it's also really happy because you've accomplished so very much. So I want to pray for you. So I want you to put your hand on the person next to you. Nicely. That's right. Teachers are like, what are you doing? And we're going to pray for one another as we transition to the next school year. Lord God, Heavenly Father, I thank you for these beautiful students. I thank you for all the learning and the growth and the fun and the memories that they had this year. I thank you for their parents. I thank you for their teachers. I thank you for the things that you have challenged them and grown them and been with them this whole year. And I pray that they have a great break, a great summer vacation of rest. They come back ready to be in the next grade as they grow and continue to grow in your grace and in your love. It's in Christ's name that I pray. Amen. All right. Well, friends, we got just a few more, uh, a few more minutes of the school year. How many of you guys are super pumped for summer? How many of you are like, you know what, uh, I, think, I think I want to come back to school next week. Next week? Well, I'll, I'll be here. Not Monday though, but, uh, but yeah, we'll be, we'll be here. But no, so we're, we hope you guys have a great summer. Um, we're going to close our chapel in, uh, in the Lord's Prayer together. And then we're going to sing a song and then we'll do our, 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 our uh, as loud as we can, kind of our, the, the end of the school year theme. Oh, it's not on this shirt, but be strong and courageous. So let's, let's close, let's close in the Lord's Prayer together. Would you guys pray with me? Fold your hands. If you want to close your eyes, if you know it, if not, you can read along in the screens as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. I will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Come on up and sing our final song. Do the way to
All right, students, I want you to turn to your teachers and say, thank you. That was pretty good, that was pretty good. Make sure you say thank you before you go today, because as we go from this place, whether we are in here or whether we are in our rooms or whether we're online, we go blessed. So receive the blessing of Almighty God. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with his favor and give you his peace. And as we leave this place, we shine like stars in the universe as we hold out the message of life. Amen? Amen. All right, guys, I know you're ready because I've st stood here before and I've said I want to hear you from here, so now I really want to hear you from here. Are you think you're ready? All right, let's stretch, let's stretch. Stretch it out, stretch it out. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stretch it out. Uh, there we go, stretch. Got a good, get the mouth ready. Squish it together. All right. We'll see, we'll see. We might have to do it more than once. I don't know if they're gonna be ready. Be strong and courageous. That was awesome. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. Uh, Pastor Paul, Miss Tanner, can we, we're gonna have three different sections coming up here. Okay, we're gonna see who's loudest, okay? We're gonna see who's loudest. Tanner over here. So you guys sit, we're gonna start over on this side. You guys can sit, everyone else can sit. All right, so listen, listen, listen. You gonna do it? Be strong and courageous! Okay, that was, that was pretty good, pretty good. Now, I'll make it fair, so I'll take off my microphone. All right, you guys ready? Be strong and courageous! That was pretty good, pretty good. All right, with Z here, with Z. That was, that was, that was close. That was, that was really tight, really tight race all throughout. I think uh, what I want, I think we as a whole group could be louder again, couldn't we? I know this whole year, your teachers have said, your teachers have said, quiet down now, right? But I think we could do it one last time. Are you ready? Everybody up, everybody up. Ready? Parents, you can join too if you'd like. Be strong and courageous! <laughs> Woo! All right, very good friends. Y'all can have a... Let's see here, yeah. All right. All right, friends, let's quiet on up. I know going from quiet to now some announcements is probably gonna be hard, but let's bring up uh, Miss Principal Shea, come on up here. If any announcements that she has and kind of officially dismiss us for the year. There you go. Let's give a big hand to our chapel team for this whole year. And our tech team for the whole year. In just a few minutes, we will dismiss class by grade level. They need to go back to their room to pick up all of their things. Um, parents, be sure the teacher knows when you've taken your child so we can keep track of everyone. And I have one more announcement before we dismiss. And the announcement is, school is dismissed for the 2020-2021 school year. Yeah.